runs into someone else and she goes, hey, you're from Texas, Becky Dalby. Surely you play volleyball in that, yeah, yeah. So then Becky comes on the team, and that's really how these teams were formed. It wasn't like we were recruited, we were in gym classes, we were hanging out playing sorority volleyball and basketball, and one by one, we very fortunately got picked for these teams. So that's kind of how it was going. But actually, I just want to add, many of us played six-woman basketball. I don't know if you, right? If you played six-woman basketball, and the tall one was the center. And we couldn't cross over, so you were offense or defense. So when we got recruited to play this five-woman thing, it was way too much running for some of us. <laughs> <laughs> Team sweatsuits, which really matter, believe me. Uh, and we didn't have to sell t shirts with little cross rackets emblems on our t shirts for uh, gas money anymore because uh, Tulane had a budget and uh, that was great. But with the new coach, Gene Shapiro, along with Dr. Parchment, uh, it became a lot more rigorous uh, from what I recall. And, and so the new coaching uh, included a lot more of uh, some pretty uh, intense drills. Uh, we had suicide drills, we had punches. Uh, we ran uh, just a little extra mileage um, after practice, uh, all the way from, uh, I guess, Newcomb Boulevard down to Claiborne and back uh, along uh, Auburn. Um, and, and to this day, everybody still remembers all of those particular uh, <coughs> exercise periods. Not um, easy to do after Pat O'Brien's. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, you know, all this practice, and we had competitions, intra-state and inter-state. So, what happened? Well, things happened. Spring 1975, Tulane's women's tennis took first place at Louisiana State Collegiate. <laughs> Formidable 
formidable opponents. Um, we had, let's see, I have to read this because it's all kind of a blur, but it came back. Basketball, first year, um, they had a 500 season record. And that was really not easy. We had a lot of taped ankles. Um, today, I'm sure it's a very different scenario. Volleyball, 1975, we led to second place at uh, Louisiana State Collegiate. And after that, in 1976, the team outdid itself. We took first place at the Louisiana State Tournament. We beat out your freshman state and your scholarship programs. But here's the most incredible thing. This scrappy group, all six of the starters made all state all tournament. Statistics are certainly one measure of success and character, but I think the beauty of the perfect game was described by Kim Shaw. Kim described volleyball as the ultimate team sport, one in which mental and physical awareness of each other on that court was paramount to success. Memories of that final third game against Northwestern, the two lanes surged ahead to 15-14 from a tough serve by Sandy Paternosta, one point away from the win. A two lane serve, Northwestern attacks, Carol dug out this ball from I don't know where. Sandy, the perfect set, and like poetry in motion, Kim Shaw just put that baby right in front of the line, impossible to get.
So we are now at a point where we can summarize, and I'm sure you're glad for that too. Uh, we're going to give gratitude, and we're going to say, one, that we were competitive, and that we were better than just good. Woo! Woo! You know, we were motivated to compete and win for many of our previous interscholastic team and various competitive experiences. But I think that all of us shared um, incredible gratitude for our parents and those caring adults in our lives that made sure that it would be okay for us to play sports because when we were young, it wasn't cool. And we had caring adults and friends around us that picked us first. So to every guy that picked us first in the neighborhood, thank you. <laughs> our parents that fostered us, thank you. And to the caring adults that saw something in us that many times we did not see or believe in ourselves. Thank you. So we didn't think of ourselves as trailblazers. Trailblazers. We are, in hindsight, so honored to have been part of this select group of women that were able to take that first step to empower every woman that came after us to love and grow with this passion of just playing sports. Thank you.